Hey guys, this is Johnny Gallagher, and I'm going to read about Ray Harryhausen Lost Movies by John Walsh. It's, it has all the scrapped ideas from the stop-motion anime Ray Harryhausen, who made the effects for Jason and the Argonauts, Clash of the Titans, and Beast from 20,000 Phantoms. And, well, I got this from Barnes & Noble at Lloyd Center. So, uh, here's the front, seeing these monsters. Totally. On the back, we see Ray Harryhausen's elf with the model of a Tauntaun from Star Wars. Yeah. And let's look at the book. Here's some pretty artwork. Here's some index. This is about the spot, the move, about how Ray Harryhausen inspired some filmmakers like Guillermo del Toro. John Landis, etc. This here's the Kraken. And here's some scrapped ideas. Here's Creation, which was originally supposed to be a dinosaur movie, but they decided to also add a, add a giant gorilla that now became King Kong. Here's the last days of Pompeii with some sort of dolphin, but it's actually a swordfish. Here's the Jupiterian, the Jupiterian, which looks like a, a six-armed biped version of the Red Source from Beast on 20,000 Phantoms. And here's the evolution of the world. Here's a concept I think should work great in movies history, like War Eagles, which is about a pilot fighting off against Nazis with giant eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the Seder, the Abominable Snowman, and there's some fairy tale series he made. Oh, and here's War of the his own version of War of the Worlds. Stop motion model. Here's some Mario from. Are you done now? Not yet. What is it on? YouTube. Right here, I was in. Wait, go on. Thank you. Here's My Joe Young, which became a Disney movie. There's Valley of the Mist, which has stop motion dinosaurs. <clears throat> Here's the one that they made a comic on called The Elementals, which has giant bat pterosaur like monsters attacking Paris, I think. Yep, it yes, it's Paris. Here's some scrap designs for the Red Source and Beast from 20,000 Phantoms. Warm man. Here's a came from Neat to See. And strange fact the octopus was supposed to have eyes on the end of its tentacles. Earth versus flying saucers. You know, this is when. The element was supposed to be stop motion, but they decided to pit summation. What we dick. The giant claw and curse of a demon. This is superior to that movie. Twenty million miles of Earth. It was which the Yim the Ymir from Twenty Million Miles of Earth was supposed to be a giant satyr -like creature. Until it got scrapped into a giant lizard creature. Here's two Cyclopses from Seven Voyage of Sinbad. There's also King Kong, what I hope to see in the future of the MonsterVerse movies, King Kong vs. Frankenstein. Here's the version of Frankenstein or Prometheus or Ginkgo, like Kiko from Son of Kong. Here's John Carter. Hopefully gonna be better than the, the Disney one. There's Seven Worlds of Gulliver, where he's fighting off a demon. The 
a mysterious ion scene. This looks pretty alien. The spider machine looks pretty alien. Here's the man. It's like the man you put from Little Shop of Horrors. Here's for the gods, which is about uh, animals becoming giant after eating of substance. Yeah, this one was supposed to have giant chickens as a kaiju. Jason, I guess. That reminds me of something from a Dr. Seuss book, I think. Worst Man on the Moon? Here goes. Don't confuse the Ant-Man from Marvel. <laughs> One million years BC. Here's an Arsenetherium with a Brontosaurus. <laughs> that poster looks cool. Here's the Deluge, which is supposed to have stop motion buildings getting destroyed by natural disasters. Here's what Valley of Guanji looked like. It was originally supposed to be about this giant half grizzly bear, half heel monster lizard. And Mr. Covey, I don't know what it was called. The, uh, never mind. Here's a lizard that looks like a cross between a, and an arsenitherium and a dice and a gorgonopsid. This was here's here's, here's Guanji. Here's, this one was supposed to have Sinbad fighting off dinosaurs. But it was scrapped because of the failure of Guanji. Here's Conan the Barbarian. And here's Sinbad and the and the King Baba Ru. And there's Last of the Labyrinths, which was a scrapped idea from Lewis O'Brien. Speaking of which, Lewis O'Brien was gonna make a movie about called The Bubbles, which is about a giant Jellyfish monster attacking something. That's Jim Danforth, who did the effects for Jack the Giant Killer, who, which was like Ray Harryhausen, but more cartoonier effects. Originally, Hammer was supposed... This was supposed to be King... King Kong was originally supposed... Well, there was originally supposed to be a King Kong ring by Hammer, and it has... Kong, and where Kong is, invades Europe in, instead of America, and he fights a Ceratosaurus instead of a T-Rex. There's Beowulf. It looks like it's any other pretty I'm on right now. Here's the Golden Voyage of Sinbad with a Cyclopean centaur. Kali, snakes, giant horned serpent. The Land of Time for God, with the fake looking dinosaurs. Sinbad and Eye of the Tiger, where the chocolate fights a Smilodon. Fun fact, Peter Bayou, the voice of Chewbacca from Star Wars, voiced Minotaur. This one was also made to a comic called Sinbad, Rogue of Mars. Looks very trippy, like 80s feel. Here's the Tauntaun I mentioned from the back. Here's some scrap ideas from Medusa. Here's Sinbad in the Seven Wonders of the World. Here's People in the Mist, which is about, which is about well, Two, bro uh, two brothers who travel from England to Africa to achieve fortune, but one brother dies to sa by saving a woman from a lion, but the other brother discovers a world and populated the land of mist on a mysterious plateau populated by primitives and prehistoric animals and discovers that aliens are controlling the very existence of evolution in mankind. 
Here's some Drypasaurus flying at my Nostegosaurus. Here's a Mosasaur creature. Here's a Nothosaurus like animal. Here's the Venus flytrap concept. Here's a, what I think are what the aliens supposed to look like. Here's Dune. I love it when we're cool to see three heroes and animate the worms. This 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 is why I probably think it might be revived as a movie and has been revived as a comic series. This concept art looks depth, dope. I mean, yeah. Here's a much less frightening Cyclops, and here's a CGI Cyclops with two horns. That one looks like the Hydra, I guess. Here's what Poseidon would look like, and he looks like some sort of giant sea monster thing. That looks goofy as hell. Here's what William Stout drew, and it looks pretty cool. That one looks like a genie crossed with a demon. And here's the final words. Pause the video to see it. Yeah. So, I highly recommend you check this book out. That was my first review on a book. Bye.